Welcome to SAP World. Here I am going to take class 8, chapter 16, light part 2. Before watching the video, first you subscribe and press the bell icon. In part 1, we already discussed about reflection of light, types of reflection and lateral inversion. Now, here we are going to discuss about reflection, multiple reflection. When two or more mirrors incline to each other, which gives multiple images, this is getting by reflection, multiple reflection of light rays. Some instruments make use of multiple reflections are kaleidoscope and periscope. See, Okay, these two instruments or devices are make use of multiple reflection on the basis of multiple reflection these are working. Okay, first of all what is periscope how this constructed. In periscope make use of two plane mirrors. It is made up of two plane mirrors of same size. Reflection from the two mirrors uh, enables us to see the objects which are not visible directly and the periscopes are used in submarines, tanks and also by the soldiers in bunkers to see the things outside. See one sample of periscope. Here two plane mirrors are inclined 45 degree to each other and the observer looking outside of the wall. Next is about kaleidoscope. In a kaleidoscope is a scientific toy. This is very attractive toy. And uh, in this uh, toy or uh, in this instrument contains three rectangular plane mirrors and they are inclined at an angle 60 degree to each other. <coughs> They incline 60 degree to each other, three plane mirrors, they are inclined to each other with an angle 60 degree. Designers of wallpapers, fabrics and artists use this kaleidoscope to get ideas for new patterns. See children, now here I made one kaleidoscope like this. Here. Uh, I use here 15 cm long plane mirrors and 3 15 cm long plane mirrors and 4 cm width taken here and after that I wrap this uh, kaleidoscope with a colored paper for the attraction. I want to make this toy very attractive so I wrap a colored paper over this kaleidoscope now I am showing you what is the pattern I get from this kaleidoscope. Children, you can see the beautiful pattern through the camera from the kaleidoscope. Very beautiful pattern. Children, if you want to make a beautiful kaleidoscope, you can see page number 204 in your science textbook. 204, page number 204, here uh, in that page given how to make a beautiful kaleidoscope. Next is about sunlight or white light. Sunlight or white light consists of seven colors. These informations already we studied from seventh standard. Sir Isaac Newton concluded this information by giving an experiment that is dispersion of white light. Children, what is dispersion of white light? That also we studied from 7th standard. 
the splitting up of white light into seven colors isn't it splitting up of white light into seven colors is known as dispersion of light the rainbow is the natural phenomenon showing the dispersion very clearly the natural phenomenon rainbow also showing the dispersion of white light so dispersion of white light is given by a scientist named as sir isaac newton children see this diagram when white light passing through the prism it is splits into seven colors that means vibrio we getting vibrio violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red children now i am going to discuss about human our human eye the human eye is the most valuable and sensitive sense organ it enables us to see the wonderful world and colors around us our human eye is roughly spherical in shape and the diameter is about 2.3 cm see here okay roughly spherical in shape here uh, i drawn a structure of human eye the front part front part of human eye is a transparent part named a cornea cornea okay second part is iris iris then next part is pupil convex lens ciliary muscles retina optic nerves blind spot vitreous humor aqueous humor aqueous humor now i am giving you these are the main parts of our human eye and now i am giving you the functions of each parts what are the functions of each parts one by one okay first of all we are going to this cornea front part transparent part front part our human eye is cornea cornea is a transparent part and it allows it allows the light enter into the eye this cornea okay next part is this uh, iris iris is a projected part and this is a circular diaphragm circular dark circular diaphragm in its center one hole you can see one hole and this hole is known as pupil pupil okay iris iris controls the size of the pupil this iris this iris controls the size of the pupil pupil is the center of this iris this is a hall center of this uh, iris is named as pupil this pupil has a function that is it controls and regulates the amount of light entering into the eye ball and this iris can iris can contract or expand from this position once again what is the function of pupil children once again listen it controls and regulates the amount of light entering into the eye ball next part is lens you can see here lens in our eye consists one lens that is convex lens we know 
this convex lens converges the lights converges the lights and converges and forms an image on the retina this convex lens form an image on the retina itself this is retina retina on both side you can see a, a, like a wall this is retina on the retina images forming by this lens on the retina itself and this you can see here in this picture that is this convex lens is holding tightly holding by and this keeping this position by the ciliary muscles see a bundle of muscles you can see here from both sides this is keeping a position in this position by the ciliary muscles the convex lens okay ciliary muscles okay this is the function of ciliary muscles holding the convex lens next convex lens converges and form an image on the retina itself and this retina contains two types of sensory cells retina contains two type of sensory cells cons and rods retina contains two types of sensory cells cons cells and rods cells cons cells are sensitive to bright lights rods cells are sensitive to dim lights okay then here on the retina an image is forming that is the nature of the image is real and inverted initially in our eyeball or retina forming an image is like the nature of the image is real and inverted real and inverted real and inverted image is forming initially then next part you can see the optic nerves optic nerves here a bundle of nerves this nerves carries this message this retina form this uh, image into or this cons and rod cells are converting this image into an electrical signal i already said in retina contains two type of uh, two types of sensory cells cons cells and rod cells these se sensitive cells convert this image into electrical signals this message give to next part that is optic nerves optic nerves a bundle of nerves optic nerves this optic nerves carries this message to brain after getting this message to brain brain and this optic nerve interprets after we getting a clear image that is erect image we getting in our eye that is our vision before that another one point is this our eye ball is filled with that is we can see here two chambers our human eye ball is divided into two chambers first chamber and second chamber first chamber is filled with a aqueous jelly substance a jelly fluid that is aqueous humor second chamber second room chamber means room second room is filled with a vitreous humor jelly type substance vitreous humor that means both the chambers filled with some type of jelly substance first one with the aqueous humor and second with the vitreous humor okay next part is another one i show here that is blind spot you can see here blind spot here no sensory cells in this part absence of sensory cells you can see here absence of sensory cells that means cons cells and rod cells are absent here in this position so this portion is known as blind spot here no vision is possible because of this is blind spot here no vision is possible uh, these are the some important parts in the human eye now i am finishing this part 2 video subscribe like share comment and press the bell icon thanks for watching the video